In this video, I'm going to test 90 FPS in this mobile, right? In S22 Exynos 9200. I hope first 90 FPS is working on your devices. Let's check my previous video. There is the latest file. All files are also working for the best uh, 90 FPS for constant gaming. I highly recommend to update the new files. The new files you can download from the my previous video. In this video, I have already set my games for 90 FPS. So let's play new map and let's test it out 90 FPS gaming, right? So for this one, I will be using PuffDog app. You know, it's a we test PuffDog app. This is a performance analysis tool. It's the best for mobile gaming. And it is widely used by many many popular games like PUBG Mobile, League of Legends, Call of Duty and many many other games. So in this video, I'll be using WeTest PubDoc app to find out the FPS and overall CPU, everything on this regard. So let's test it out. Okay, I have already connected my PubDoc app as you can see in the background, the PubDoc service is running. So let's test it out. Okay, so let's test it out new, uh, new map. Okay, it's a uh, new Good luck, it's showtime. The FPS is running in 90 FPS. The temperature is as is normal. The FPS is running perfectly fine. So I am kind of new for this uh, map. I don't know. I haven't played this game for a long time, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So we are in this island. So, like in Apex Legends, we can use this zip line. Interesting. I got supplies. I got supplies. I don't have any. No, don't attack me. Watch out. As you can see in the FPS counter, the FPS is uh, really, really normal. Slowly, I start to feel warm with the device, but it's still it's not like so super warm. Uh, as you can see, the current situation, there is no extreme or officially 90 FPS for this device, but still uh, we are managed to force to 90 FPS and I don't know when the Tansen will update for this uh, device, but it seems that there is no way it's coming very soon. And this one is S22 with AMD GPU, right? What is this fucking butt? Watch out. Awesome. Watch out. Watch out. Without this earphone, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Good luck, mates. Awesome. I'm not down. Awesome. Thank you. 
as the device uh, is getting warmer the you can see the FPS is fluctuating somehow is reached around 45 46 45 degrees celsius of outer temperature and you can see the fluctuation in FPS so you know there is no officially high FPS in for this device everything we are forcing so maybe that's why the fluctuation is uh, very high but it still is very playable you know i will choose any day to play in 90 fps but i highly highly suggest for 60 fps right now you can see like uh, maximum 82 fps in total so i don't know what to say but it's still it's still running pretty fine he just wanna finish me up so anyway guys it's a just the first game it's a only a 10 minute of playing game the fps you can force to 90 fps i'm pretty sure if you have a, a snapdragon or any other device which have a officially a 60 fps then i think you can you can have a constant 90 fps of gaming this piece of seat which has Exynos 9200 with AMD graphics it doesn't have any any high like uh, extreme frame rate available so frame rate is locked into high but we force into 90 fps still it plays uh, 90 fps but it's uh, not so uh, not so the great one i mean not the constant 90 fps but uh, we can force it uh, you can see the fluctuation but anyway it's so playable so according to the result, the average FPS is 81.6 But let's check this uh, out The average FPS is 81.6 The smoothness is rated 4.8 uh, According to the test port work application software Less than 8, it's uh, really smooth To be honest, it was smooth It's not was uh, like feeling very hard to play the game So as you can see, like first few minutes The FPS was really, really constant But to remind you that this device doesn't support Officially uh, 60 FPS uh, So for sync, uh, okay, first few minutes were very good so, Like then after, like as you can see, like after 4 to four minutes there the device starts to feel a little warmer and the fps you, you can see like keeps fluctuating you know like it goes up from four minutes to the end of the game that it was fluctuating so this kind of uh, quite normal in exynos uh, devices especially for uh, for this s uh, galaxy s22 exynos variant because officially it doesn't have uh, any 60 fps available the, as you can see like uh, CPU normalized JSON was uh, pretty normal as uh, other games. So you, you can see like a uh, various fluctuation to keep it uh, high, high FPS. So I think it's quite normal for this kind of de modern devices to have it uh, like more fluctuating, like more throttling going on as you can see. Just only for 10 minutes of playing game the battery consumption was about 6 watt so i think it's a little high for me to maintain a device high fps constantly the there is like more fluctuation and battery consumption i really suggest to play in a 60 fps if you think about to prolong to have a more battery power for like let's say to have a more gaming um, session 60 fps is a very 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 good the 90 fps is uh, quite achievable i will not say like it's uh, very very buttery smooth but it still is uh, playable i hope you like this video if you do like make sure to give a thumbs up for this video i will catch you in the next in a different topic or maybe if you want like something else for this pubg mobile gaming then let me know thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next